Well, today is August 2nd, 2019. And back a couple of weeks ago, actually on July 19th, I uploaded a video on this YouTube channel called A Buddhist Podcast Experiment. And in that video, I shared the fact that I was considering the possibility, based on input and suggestion from a subscriber to my channel, to start a podcast with a focus particularly on the Pure Land tradition within Buddhism. I also recorded in that video a sample of what a podcast done by me might sound like. And the focus there was on uh, a profession of faith that was written by a man who was one of my mentors within the tradition, namely Reverend Kenryu Tsuji. But in any case, I've given further consideration since then and have gone ahead and identified a hosting site for podcasts, which I felt was appropriate to my particular needs were I to do such a project. And that's the Podbean hosting site, which also has an app where a person can listen to different podcasts. Now, again, I'm a novice, <laughs> so the language I use and the ways I describe this may be uh, inappropriate or awkward uh, to some who have more savvy in this regard. But in any case, they had a pretty easy and, frankly, free methodology for uh, taking me through a process of uh, identifying a channel and uh, uploading a podcast. So, in accordance with the fellow who originally suggested this, whose name is Benjamin, uh, I went ahead and labeled it Exploring Pure Land Buddhism. And my intent, well, as far as my intent, I want to read you a description of what I wrote that uh, kind of tells what I had planned to do. And I wasn't able to put this entire description on the, uh, the site, but kind of the longer version of what I had uh, sort of articulated as my intent in this regard was that as follows. I was going to introduce myself and sort of describe what I was going to do as follows. Now, with better audio, I want to recite what I had originally drafted as a description of sort of who I am and what I was planning to do, which again was too long for the actual pod being site. And so I pared it down and I'll tell you what that description is as well. But what I originally was wanting to say was, I am a lay Shin Buddhist, not a scholar, and not ordained, who entered the gate of the Pure Land Nembutsu practice, which is really a non-practice, more than 40 years ago in the context of a generic spiritual awakening. While I rely on Amida Buddha's primal vow for my rebirth in his western paradise, I continue to appreciate and engage in various activities to share the wellspring of the Pure Land teachings, namely Mahayana or Great Vehicle Buddhism. That said, I also have a deep respect for the earlier Pali Canon teachings that in turn led to the Mahayana. In exploring Pure Land Buddhism, the, the name of this podcast, I informally share my perspective, as well as that of others, on this profound and wonderful devotional path. For anyone interested, I would also note that I have a YouTube channel called Akala Akala, wherein I recite many sutras, commentaries, and verses from the Buddhist tradition. I plan to upload a few of these in this non-monetized podcast. Meanwhile, I will close with the core expression of Shinjin, or true and trusting, within the Pure Land School, the Nembutsu, Namu Amida Butsu. So again, that was the, the longer description that I had anticipated uh, being able to post, but in the context of uh, pod being saying that the best description would be like from 10 to 20 words. I needed to pare that down quite a bit. So on the site, what I said, and I'll, I'll show you this uh, as, a, as a screenshot, I said, I am a lay Buddhist who relies on Amida, but also appreciates broader Mahayana teachings. Herein, I informally share my perspectives on the Pure Land path. Additionally, I have a Buddhist YouTube channel called Akala Akala with many sutra recitation uploads. Namo Amida Butsu. So they wanted to know what my site name was supposed to be. 
uh, and I wasn't sure exactly what that was, but I went ahead and put this Akala Akala name, since that's kind of what I've tagged my YouTube channel with from the very beginning. And so that actually is the uh, way that a person can get to these podcasts directly through a URL. So in effect, the address to get to these podcasts is akalaakala.podbean.com. And that's pretty straightforward. But what I would want to do is, of course, try to figure out a way to send the link somehow to these podcasts out to various apps or <laughs> sites. I'm not sure exactly, again, what the vernacular is that carry podcasts such as iTunes, such as Google Play, such as Spotify and so forth. So that's a new learning curve that I will uh, focus on in the context of this project, if you will, to further uh, promulgate the, uh, the Buddha Dharma. Now, just to show you what the page looks like at Podbean, I'll go ahead and put it up on the screen now, a screenshot, and you can see that I've labeled it Exploring Pure Land Buddhism, and they wanted a logo. So you can see that the logo I used was actually the sixth of the six characters in the Nembutsu, which is a Chinese character, as I understand it, representing Buddha. So the six characters are Namu Amida Butsu. And so this one means Butsu. And this was from a large scroll that in some of my videos, actually, you can see it behind me, that um, was done for me by a person of Japanese heritage uh, back in the day. So it is original art. And I, as I understand it, that's what Apple requires in order to, to get podcasts posted on, on iTunes. And you can see there that the first uh, episode, if you will, that I've labeled E1, uh, I've entitled Reverend Kenryo Tsuji. And that is the podcast that I had previously put in the YouTube video that I earlier mentioned as my experiment, so to speak. And I decided I would go ahead and plug in a picture, which there you see the picture of Reverend Tsuji. There may or may not be a way to put verbal descriptions of the podcasts that one posts, but honestly, I don't think I'm going to get into doing that. Uh, I think just the picture and the podcast will be sufficient. What I am going to do is I will include some that are largely recitations along the lines of what I do on the YouTube channel. And for those, I will put in parenthesis after the title the word recitation so that the person who starts reviewing what I'm offering will be able to uh, understand that that's what the content is for those particular videos. So as of right now, I've actually uploaded two. I think I uploaded a second one on Pure Land Buddhist Faith, where I talk about uh, what does faith mean uh, in the context of Tsuji's profession of faith, and also what does it mean to worship? What does it mean when we talk about worshiping Amida Buddha? And so if you go there now, as of August 2nd, you'll see these two podcasts, which I've put up, again, kind of on a quasi-experimental basis, since I'm, I'm just learning about this. But my intent will be, and please don't, don't totally hold me to this, if I get sick or if some other events uh, intercede, I may or may not be able to fulfill this commitment. But my tentative commitment will be to upload a new podcast by every Friday at 12 o'clock noon Eastern Standard Time. And so that way, anybody interested in following these podcasts on my uh, Exploring Pure Land Buddhism channel, if you will, uh, will be able to know when they might be able to see a new one. So anyway, that's, that's the story. And um, I appreciate all of you who subscribe to my YouTube channel, and particularly those of you who either give some indication of whether you like or don't like a particular video, and especially those who provide comments and feedback to me, because that's how I can uh, further enhance what I do as a function of, you know, what it is that you want to hear regarding Buddhism. So, as I say in the uh, uh, the closing of the podcasts, which everyone will have the same opening and closing, I say, Namo Mita Boats, Namo Mita Boats, Namo Mita Boats.